Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, before we get started on working on the 300, I just want to take a small time out and thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. I've increased by a third the number of subscribers in the past week, and the number of views on the last video is mind blowing. I never thought I'd get to be where I am now. And before we start working on the 300 today, I just want to let you guys know that I've made a small production run of t shirts to support the channel. I have a full size run from small through 3X. And if you'd like to purchase a shirt, they're $25 shipped within the continental US. You can contact me on Instagram at boost underscore kings to request a size. We can set up PayPal, whatever the case may be. Or if you don't have Instagram, you can email me at boostkings2019 at gmail.com and we can get you set up with a shirt because all the proceeds from the shirt sales are going right back into the project. So, but today what we're going to move on to is removing the engine, transmission. I mean, I'm going to try and drop the whole front subframe down. I've never done it before, but you know, I figure I'll, you know, figure it out as we go. But, um, I mean, that's what today's video is going to consist of. I got my buddy Keith here today. What's help, up, guys? Help me out. Give me a little hand, you know. And the weather outside today is snowing. It's 28 degrees outside today, so. Richie, I saw over here that uh, you had the snowman kit out. Are we going to make a snowman today, maybe? We potentially do that later <laughs> if you would like. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to get started now. We'll get back to you guys with more progress. condenser we get all this stuff out of the way so that we had room to pull the engine out i might drop the engine down i'm not sure like in the cradle but i think i might just pull it out i'm not i'm decided yet but we got all the engine components out i mean all that's left to unplug is like the fuel feed and a couple other small things but other than that we're uh, getting there take a little bit longer than expected but you know usually does yeah usually <laughs> got that right. but we're getting there so Gonna do a little time lapse now and see what we get done. Maybe get the engine loose or get the mounts loose and the transmission loose and just stuff like that. Take the wiring harness off and just move on from there. So we we still going for trying to mount the new one in today or we'll see how far we get. This All is right. a lot more tasking than we <laughs> thought it was gonna be. <laughs> but we'll right. get back to you guys in a minute. We're back. Let me give you a little update. Uh, we got off all like the heater hoses and the um, what else did we say, Keith? Got the uh, computer out, got the uh, fuel line disconnected. Yep, uh, um, we're about ready to give it a pull. We're gonna go on underneath the car right now and jack it up and re uh, disconnect the um, shifter cable that yeah. you know, selects the gears and stuff like that. And then we're gonna just try pulling the engine out. Yeah, I mean, we just, just took things that were in our way out, took the wiper blades off and yep, the whole cowl, the, the steel piece that was there. Yeah, so. All right, well, let's see if we can get this thing done. I'm, right, uh, put it on time lapse. And we'll I'm, just... I'm pretty hungry too, you know, so you're gonna, you're gonna have to feed me at some point. <laughs> you know? order a pot, don't I worry, mean, we'll this, take care of you. This, this, this thing already scratched me. The uh, hell cat got, got you. Got a little angry at me. That's right. But, <laughs> all right, guys, we'll put you on time lapse now, we'll get right back to you.
All right, Richie, looks like this thing's about ready to come out. Oh uh, yeah, we're ready to uh, take the hood off to get the extra space we need. And then uh, once that's done, it should be ready to come out. I mean, we're just four bolts away now to get the hood off. I, Rest I got down it. here, Keith, right down, right down. All right, now, I'm gonna unbolt the hood. And then, uh, as you can see, the engine sold out. Your side. Think skinny. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these two. One left. What do you think the pizza guy's gonna say when he gets here? Ah, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that guy's gonna start thinking when he sees this mess. Get the engine halfway out it is a struggle wouldn't you say keith i would i i hope you guys enjoyed watching that on time lapse <laughs> uh, it was a blast in real life <laughs> <laughs> well, it's almost out now just a matter of getting the tranny out yeah i mean i think we're just a little hung up here we're definitely leaking some oil so we definitely want to get this thing out as quick as we can so we'll give you another angle we'll put it on time lapse and uh keep going that's it guys we're back and as you can see uh the engine bay is empty we were gonna potentially put the hellcat engine in today but there's a lot of cleaning to do we're gonna like pressure wash the engine bay and stuff like that and also i removed this whole wiring harness that goes to headlights the abs goes all the way through everything goes into the car and we got some parts over here we got um to put into the car uh, we got new rear brake lines a hellcat fuel pump and we got the entire um, Hellcat wiring harness, which I'm gonna take this one and swap it out with the ones in the car now. So that's probably gonna be next time's next episode's project. Just go from there. But it took a lot longer than we thought it was gonna get the engine out. So that's a reoccurring theme with us, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be it for today. And uh, be sure to share with your friends. And you know, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll catch you guys next time.